All right, Zen in the Yard of Critical Thinking Part 2. Yes. Exactly. So what we're going to do now is talk about how to keep music interesting while you're dissecting it and analyzing every little bit of it. Now, once you've gone into the chip factory, you can't unsee what you've seen, which means that once you listen to a song, your favorite song, and blow it up to its essential components, it really never is the same. So what I, what I like to do is deliberately not try to learn some things because I'd like to preserve some of the mystery, some of the feeling, the emotions that it gives me because there, there's two ways of thinking about it. Music is really wonderful to listen to and experience. As, as a music lover, there's nothing I, I, I live for more. But the analytical part of my brain takes over. And next thing you know, I'm starting to blow it up and discern key signatures, time signatures. Is there a pocket created between the bassist and the kick drum? Is there, is there a melody hook that's catching on to me? All of this goes through my brain within like a second or two. And it sort of eventually takes the fun out of everything because I'm not really enjoying the music. I'm just sort of uh, cognizantly, um, half-acidly analyzing it just because the musician part of me wants to know what's going on. So... I say, that's right. that's right, there's some things I just won't blow it up, I don't want to hear what's going on, I turn that part of my brain off, and you can too. Remember, you have total control over everything that's going on in the medulla. So if you can discern the part of you that, that desperately wants to know what is happening at every given part, and being able to shut that part of your brain off, you can still enjoy music and love music, at the same time being able to, to learn it and, and pick up on it through osmosis. So it's not like you're not going to learn it. I mean, eventually, if you listen to a song a bunch of times, that's the best way to learn something. And that kind of comes back to the original, you can teach yourself anything. It, you could, the truth is, you don't really need to buy transcription books or, or hunt through the internet for like really crazy inaccurate tablature. You just have to kind of listen to it a bunch of times. And I guarantee you, if you use that mental fretboard that I've talked about before, you will start to visualize what's being ha played without even noticing it. So that's kind of a cool way of staying in touch with that music fan, music lover, at the same time allowing that curious, analytical, you know, philosophical part of your brain do its thing. So um, there you have it. This is Marcus, and uh, that's Zen in the Art of Critical Listening and Thinking. Try to enjoy it for everything you got. Later. <laughs>